Hey, what's up everyone? Um, welcome back. Today we're doing another recap and today was uh, kind of a crappy one for sure. Um, anyways, it's April 6th and today I am down negative 534 bucks. So I made one big vital mistake today and I really didn't trade much to be honest. Um, only I think three or four trades in total. Um, so let's review it. Um, I did get uh, the two that I traded were BT, yeah, BTX and uh, Eyes. I got a real quick trade on Eyes. I think it was twice. And um, those were both positive by something like 10 bucks. So not even really that great of a trades, but it was spiking up. Uh, when I was watching it, so I wanted to go in for a move on that. But let's go to the big mistake here for today. I want to know if you guys got caught up in this as well. And uh, yeah, I just fell for a big trap on this one. So BTX, I was eyeballing this one <clears throat> before the market opened because obviously it had a huge run up after hours yesterday and uh, consolidated all this morning. I was going sideways, so. I was, you know, potentially looking for another rip higher, but I sat on my hands right out of the um, open, and I'm glad I did because it just flushed. And as it did, uh, you know, it kind of consolidated going going down a bit. Eventually hit a low point here and started curling up. And I was looking at this and I was thinking, okay, this could be the opportunity where it wants to, you know test or possibly blow past the some of the pre-market highs here so i figured i'd jump in and i went uh, just a little too heavy on it um i think it was uh let's see let me pull up my chart here yeah okay so that was first trade of the day and when I hopped in this thing, once again, I was, I was looking at this curl and it, looking, it looked like it was going to have some strength. So I hopped in and we got a flush that just happened so quick right after that. Like it spiked up hard and just went straight down. So I was super frustrated and I decided, you know, I'm not going to hold it and took the loss, but it was a big one. So it was, um, yeah, I went down 558 bucks on that. And after that, honestly, I didn't see really anything else move to my liking. And I did see eyes uh, this, you know, later on in the day, it started ripping up. But I got in that, um, like I said, two small trades. And um, just wasn't anything great. It was already towards kind of the highs here. So... That's really all I traded today. So kind of a boring day and a red one at that. So, um, man, this, I felt like I started with a good, um, good first day out of the month. And I don't know, I feel like things are unraveling now. I'm still holding the position with ACY from yesterday. Uh, I got on the phone again with E-Trade this morning to kind of follow up on that issue. And they said they... They still need the 24 hour period. So to check back in with them after um, like four or five o'clock today. And you know, I don't know if I've got a, just a pipe dream with that, hoping that they're gonna remedy me in some way. But um, I mean, to be honest, I have screenshot evidence of when I went into those orders and they just went in this pending queue and they did so for um, uh, like more than five minutes. So I was just super frustrated with that execution yesterday. So anyways, I'm still holding that. And, um, like I said, maybe that's just, um, it's wishful thinking, hoping that they're going to actually do something about it. And I swear in the past, um, you know, a year ago, two years ago, they, uh, I, I called in with a technical issue that I actually had on one of my trades and they remedied it for me. So, but I feel like E-Trade has just gone to hit downhill for a while. 
So, you know, wait times have been ridiculous. Just everything, customer service, it's all slowly seems like it's going downhill. And uh, so maybe it's just wishful thinking that I'm thinking they're actually going to do something about it. And someone made the comment yesterday on one of the videos that they're just going to <laughs> tell you, you know, it was your, it was something on your end that screwed up. And, but I, when I talked to someone yesterday, one of the reps, they, they said, yeah, other people were calling in about this, uh, this pending issue and we're, we're currently working on it. So they confirmed that it was an issue and, uh, but I guess just it's a question of whether they're actually going to do something about it. Maybe it's pretty unlikely, so we'll see. But um, uh, I forgot AC. Why? You know, I had a nice run up today, and it just went right back down. So, you know, if you zoom out, I had some nice, obviously, some ni a nice move going forward. It retraced that move completely, so that's not necessarily a good sign to me in the short term. Um, however, like if you look at, yeah, the, uh, longer term span here, you know, it's been on a run up for three days now and this is the third day. And I don't know, they're, depending on how you look at it, it looks like there could be some, you know, some support. Um, you know, if you look in here around nine bucks and this area here at 1086, even, yeah, so. I don't know. Once again, that would be wishful thinking too. So this thing could definitely fall way back down tomorrow. Don't know. Uh, we'll we'll find out. So that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, short one for you today. And hopefully, I don't know. Tomorrow's much better. I've just been I don't know feeling down just the way uh, things are going and um for my performance as well as all the technical issues that have been going on i'm just kind of been fed up with i don't even almost don't even feel like trading that much but um yeah i'll be back here tomorrow and uh, we'll see what happens so take care and we'll see you tomorrow